Kenyans have until the 6th of January 2025 to provide their feedback on the proposed introduction of genetically modified maize. This follows an application submitted by the Kenya Agricultural and Livestock Research Organization, perhaps better known as CALRO, and the African Agricultural Technology Foundation. As you'll hear now from Emily Chebet, scientists have said the field release is part of the trial and it will happen in selected farms that are controlled. Less than a week before the end of public participation window on introduction of genetically modified maize, the National Biosafety Authority in Kenya was in Kakamega and Machakos counties to collect views from Kenyans ahead of the proposed release of the BT maize from the laboratory research stage to the environment. <laughs> ambao wanakula mahindi wakati wamepandwa kule viwanjani tuko na mdudu ambaye anaitwa May stock bora huwa anaingia katika e, stem ya mahindi na nakula kabisa na ribu na pia kuna hizi ambazo mnaita viwavi ama the fall armyworm ambazo pia e, pande hii ya western zina uharibu mkubwa kabisa Introduction of GMOs has sparked a widespread debate in the country in October 2022 President William Ruto lifted a 10-year ban on GMOs imposed by the late President Mwai Kibaki. National Biosafety Authority is using the ongoing public participation to provide information to the public. We are going to get uh, the views from members of the public eh, across the country. And uh, once we receive those comments, we are going to analyze those comments. Uh, if uh, there are reservations or there are concerns that will come out from this exercise, we are going to analyze those comments and those are concerns and we are going to address those concerns with the applicant who is, who is color before a final decision is reached. Genetically modified maize is a special type of maize that scientists have worked on to make it stronger and more reliable for farmers by giving it a shield against harmful insects and diseases. It is done by carefully tweaking its DNA, the instructions that tell the plant how to grow. Scientists fight pests or even survive in harsh weather like drought. There is a bacteria that we normally eat in the salad. It is called Bacillus thuringiensis. So that is the Bt. We have used this bacteria because the bacteria seems to be producing a particular you know, medicine. We have done a sequence of that, the genome of the bacteria, identified the section that is responsible for producing that medicine. And that is the section that has now been moved into maize, so that maize sort of becomes vaccinated. Some farmers still have reservations with the GMO maize, while others are sounding receptive after the public participation. Scientists, on the other hand, have expressed confidence, saying biotechnology is the answer to diseases, low yields due to climate change, and safety of the biodiversity that they say is jeopardized by spraying chemicals. Something that is not supposed to be in our bodies is being taken from the ground, where it's supposed to leave the soil. And now, in our bodies, you say that um, uh, this BT is already being used. fertilizer, Now, why do we need to link it for my intent? Already our maize is safe. We trust our maize. Nagula, I to affect. GMO, it is not harmful. See, okay, to ambayo na miili yetu. Kwa sababu kama to miambiwa ata katika potatoes ambazo ziko kwa mchanga tuna ngurua katika mchanga na tunakula. Iyo protein bado iko uko ndani. Nimejua kabisa tumekuwa tukipotea kwa kukosa maarifa kwa sababu tulidanganywa kuhusu hii GOM GMO BT e, ni mdudu tu anakaa katika um, mchanga na haswa anasaidia anaua anaua hawa uh, wale wadudu the reason why it is safe for human consumption is that it is specific to these pests why because the gut of these pests are alkaline so when this medicine is taken it requires an alkaline environment for it to now become active now human gut or throat is not alkaline, it's acidic. The public participation continues in different parts of the country before it is introduced to the environment in selected areas that will be controlled in readiness for the final stage. Emily Chebet, Citizen TV, Nairobi.